Hey Walleye Wisdom Watchers, underneath all this, uh, my name is Mike Gansabelle, and uh, just wanted to go over a few things about uh, how do we dress to go out ice fishing. You see those guys out there, it looks like they're wearing a, a sleeping bag out there out on the ice, but there is some logic to it, and we just wanted to go over a few things today to explain how and why we dress this way. Um, what I have on right now is a new line from Frayville called their FXE series that they came out with last year. And we think that Frayville's really done a good job of listening and uh, keying in to the needs of fishermen and incorporating those needs into their apparel. Um, storm suit starts out. You have your hood here with a storm flap. Good head protection, wire in the bill to keep this bill right above your baseball cap right here. It's completely waterproof and seam sealed, meaning that the seams, all the stitches in here, are sealed up. They're not going to leak. We pull this down. This is our chin guard, and it's a line chin guard. And I haven't shaved today, and it feels pretty good. It doesn't catch on my whiskers at all. That's a great feature. All of these zippers here are sealed up, so those are not going to leak at all. We open it up, and it does have a lining which is nice. The lining on the inside protects the, uh, the waterproof finish which is laminated up against the back of this outer polyester shell. Um, this is fully seam sealed, rain guttered down the front. That cinches up around your hands where your gloves are going to be. And another important feature here, lots of pockets that go to the inside. When you get out there you're going to realize you need lots of pockets. So, we take this off. This is our jacket. It's very lightweight. You know, your rain gear should be lightweight, it should be waterproof, and it should be breathable. Why that is, is because when you're moving all of your ice fishing gear out onto the water, you're going to be exerting a lot of force, you're going to be producing a lot of sweat. You want a breathable garment that is going to release that excess heat that your body is building up and so you don't sweat. And we'll go over that in a little bit here. Why it's important that you don't build up sweat on the inside of this microclimate that you have here. These are the bibs and the bibs go all the way up to your chest here. Uh, that's good because if you do get some water on you it's just going to flow right down. Frabel has these great side straps here that pull it snug into your body. Very nice. These open up and allow you to go inside the pants. Also, these can be used to uh, add a little bit more ventilation inside. Side pockets, of course, waterproof and breathable. We pull down the front here. This is not open. The good thing about that, water cannot get down inside. Wet pants equals short trip. You just don't want to be out there. This, I think, is pretty obvious what this is for. Uh, that's for those times when you need to take a leak out there, and that happens. So pulling this off, pull this off like so, undo the sides. And if you have boots on, what's included, and this is very important for any type of bib, you do need the side slash zippers. Sometimes they go all the way up, sometimes they go halfway up, but when you got boots on, you need to be able to put these bibs on and off over those boots. Frable makes it easy by putting waterproof breathable zippers up and down the sides of both legs. Now what I have on is an insulating layer. I like to use Polar Tech. It's an American company and they have the best warmth to weight ratio out there. This is a Polar Tech 200 weight fleece that I got from Gander Mountain. Uh, high loft polyester fleece traps a lot of heat. I like to have a zipper on here so I can take it on and off easily. That is our warmth layer. For base layer, I have on another high loft polar fleece, again with a zipper so we can open this up and close it if we get too hot. Underneath it's a marmot base layer, again, Polar Tech. This is always should be 
a, uh, a synthetic product like a polyester that is going to wick sweat and heat away from your body. I always tell people in the store, never, never use cotton products as a base layer. It will get wet and it will stay wet all day making you cold and it's going to siphon that heat straight out of your body. Um, down here, these are Polar Tech drawers, like fleece drawers. That, of course, is our insulating layer. And then below that, polyester leggings. It's not going to get too crazy here. I'm not going to strip down all the way. Uh, wool socks are good. Again, no cotton socks. They'll get wet. They're going to stay wet and cold all day. Now, if we're going out, this is what you would, let's say we were to go out onto the boat. This is going to take us through a rainy day, a rainy cold day, like we just got back from uh, Little Bay to Knock. This would have been a great combo to have out there. Now, if it gets really cold, Frangle also has new their storm suit. And the difference here is that this is just like the FXE, but it has insulating liner. So what we are going to use this for is if you're standing out on the ice, extremely cold, this is also waterproof, breathable, water's going to roll right off you. You also have that extra insulating layer to keep you warm out there. I'm going to put that there. The bibs are much the same way. You're going to get yourself a waterproof, breathable bib with some insulation out there. And these are heavy duty. You're going to want to use these if you are out punching holes through the ice by yourself and it's windy and below zero temperatures. So this is going to go on the same way. Pull it on like this. We're going to zip up the front. Side zips are going to come down. Some other features. These are called gaiters, and this is going to stop. This is going to go around your boot. They have elastic on the bottom, so it's going to cramp around your boot, and it's going to keep snow from coming up inside. I'm going to zip both of these pants down, velcro them up. Seal those gaiters up. Get this, the jacket system goes on top of it, and you are completely sealed out from the elements. Another added bonus, gator on the inside, this would connect together to keep snow from riding up in there. You can put this fleece on, but honestly I really don't think you need it. This thing is so warm, it is unbelievable. We zip this up and we are ready to go ice fishing. Any type of uh, headgear will suffice. Uh, stocking cap is good. Got the hood here. And you're ready to go. Another thing we want to cover is a good pair of boots. If you got cold feet, you're not going to last very long out there. Lacrosse makes some of the best ice fishing boots that are out there. This is the Alpha Ice King. Not only does it have 600 grams of thin, thin sulate, it's also made of neoprene, so it's waterproof, and you also get felt liners on the inside for even more insulation. These are rated for down to negative 65 degrees, so I think we'll be good. Uh, we're not ice fishing up in Antarctica. I think these are a good addition for Iowa. So I think that's it. There's a lot of options out there, but I think if you keep some key points in mind, good base layer, good insulating layer, and a good snow suit, or a good suit that's going to keep you dry and warm, you'll be ready to ice fish. Thank you, Walleye Wisdom.